Is, is it the, the, the trans non-binary demographic or is it these big corporations? It's the people who run these big corporations who get to use their shareholders' money to make themselves more popular in certain progressive groups on the coasts of this country. As I often say, they're blowing woke smoke to deflect accountability for their own failures. And if you think about the illogic of what they're even asking their customers to espouse, many of these corporations were behind the gay rights movement, which was predicated on the idea that the sex of the person you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born. It had to be that way or it couldn't be a civil right. Yet today, that same movement now says your own biological sex is completely fluid over the course of your life. You can't believe both of those things at the same time, but this is more of a cult. It's more of a religion, but it's legitimized by corporate America, which needs to actually deflect accountability, often from the left. I mean, Nike will talk about slave, slavery 250 years ago in the United States without doing a thing to reduce its own reliance on slave labor today. And so that game goes pretending to care about something other than profit and power, precisely to gain more of each, especially in this case, for the executives who run those corporations who get to become more popular in their progressive circles.